So the basic usage of this export is one is to take a backup and the other main usage of this is see in, in real time environment so we have a consumer or you can say a client at the front end and before your message from the client reaches to data power we have a load balancer and you have a data power appliance over here and then from data power to the back end of the server usually see what happens let's say let's assume that my production environment had only one data power appliance okay what if this appliance is down will it be able to process those transactions no. right. so that's the reason in every environment especially when we talk about a production we will have multiple appliances so that if at least one appliance goes down the other appliance should be capable of handling those transactions okay so let's say I have two appliances or three appliances in my production environment. So what does this load balancer does? It will check the health of the data power appliance. If it is able to accept the request, it will route that request to the necessary data power appliance. So in the load balancer, we can choose what kind of algorithm that we need, like a, a round robin fashion or least weight connections. So whatever the, uh, whatever the algorithm that we want, we can choose it. So let's say I'll assume it as a round robin, which is a common algorithm which we use for the load balancing, which means what happens? It will distribute the load equally among the existing appliances. Correct? So when the first request comes, it will be sent to DP1. When the second request comes, it will be sent to DP2. And when the third request comes, it will be sent to DP3. So if any of these appliances, let's say DP1 is down, then the request is distributed only among DP2 and DP3. And even if DP2 one, one is also down, so all the requests will be routed only to the DP3 appliance. All these are separate physical appliances. Okay. So it is not a domain. It is your difficult, sorry, it is a different data power appliances. Now being said that, what happens? Which means now if my request has to reach to any of these appliances, the configuration which is present on DP1 should also be similar to DP2 and DP3, correct? Yes. Then only any request that comes can be handled by any of these appliances. So now let's assume that as part of your data power one in the, in the, in the data power appliance one, let's assume that you developed one service which you took around let's say one hour to develop a service. So now you have to replicate the same service on data power appliance 2 and data power appliance 3 as well, correct? So again, what it will do, you have to log into that appliances and you have to do the similar configuration. So again, it is going to take one hour for you, correct? So now, instead of that, what I can do is, anyways, I have configured the service 1 in the data power appliance 1. I'll take an export of it from here and I'll just import it over here. Thereby, the extra effort what is required for you to configure the similar service on the other appliance is reduced, correct? So it is very easy to replicate the same configuration on multiple appliances or multiple domains by making use of this export and import configuration, correct? Apart from the backup, you can also use it as to replicate the same instances or the same configurations on, on multiple appliances. Okay. Any okay. export and import? And export, it won't miss anything, right? Yes, it with doesn't... respect to the configuration, yes, it doesn't miss anything. Like you said, some AAA policies? Or... No, no, nothing. Yes, everything will be taken as an export. Okay. So here, as I said, you can see every object can be exported or every service can be exported every domain can be exported or an entire system can be exported. So depending upon the need, we can take an export of it. And whenever you take an export of any object from the data power appliance, a copy of that will be created in your export directory 
under the file management. See, what is the file that I downloaded? See, oh, yes. So whenever anyone, if you take any object, if you take it backup or an export from the uplands, a copy of that is going to be created in the export directory. Can I download it from here directly it's by select moves? Okay. Okay. You can download it from.